Hi, and welcome to a video in which uh, I'm going to demonstrate this, which is a uh, Raspberry Pi with a Pi Juice battery on top of it, with a um, board on top of that, which has got two ultrasonic sensors mounted on it. Uh, the board is a Raspio Pro, T Pro Hat, and uh, it brings all the pins out from the uh, GPIO and makes it easy to interface the sensors. <clears throat> the circuit is the standard theremin circuit, which is um, in the Raspberry Pi projects uh, list on the Raspberry Pi org site, uh, just doubled up. And because it's battery powered, it's totally freestanding. Now on the screen, if I just put that down a minute, uh, you can see the code which is uh, running on the Pi here. I'm just about to start it uh, in this terminal window here. The program is called theremin.py and it's got one argument, uh, dot, dot, uh, dash dash sp, which is fed to it, which is 192.168.1134 and that is the IP address of my uh, Mac which is running Sonic Pi. And the code that it is running is on the left here and basically it just interfaces to each of the two distance sensors using standard GPIO zero code. It sets up two sensors, sensor and sensor two, um, the trigger and threshold, um, sorry, the trigger and the um, echo pins are set here and I set the threshold distance to be about half a meter when it first detects or something there. And it then goes round a loop reading these values and it sends them as an OSC message using the OSC uh, message builder from PythonOSC and the UDP client from the same library. And these it prints the values on the screen as well. Uh, this little bit parsing args at the bottom is just to enable you either not put any argument in which case uh, it will default to using just the Pi itself and uh, if you've got a keyboard and a screen connected, you could use it with Raspberry Pi on the um, uh, with Sonic Pi on running on the Raspberry Pi. Or indeed, it's possible to get that running headless. But uh, in fact, it was more convenient for me to run it uh, because of the filming with using uh, Sonic Pi on the Mac and to send the OSC messages externally to the address of the Mac, which is put in up here when I'm just about to start this running, which we'll do now by pressing the enter key here. And that is now running. And if I start bringing my hands up, you can see there's output coming from the two numbers, both of which are changing. That's the um, R1 value changing there, which is going to adjust the pitch. And this is the R2 value changing, and that's going to introduce a modulation onto the note. Uh, which you'll hear when we get it going at the moment. You can see the OSC messages being received on the bottom right of the screen. Um, well, in fact, near my picture on top of it, but just down here, um, if I actually raise that, if I can, a little bit, uh, you probably see it now. Um, there, coming up the screen, the OSC messages being received. So, if we were to start the um, Sonic Pi program running now, which I'll do by coming up here and starting that running. Um, something went wrong. I think I've typed something inadvertently on this uh, line 20. Yes, I must have had this ax this um, active when I was typing something else in. It should just see set K, K there. Let's try again. Run. That's fine. That's working this time. Now, if I just pick this up initially and hold the front of the screen, you can see if I bring my finger near. And uh, I'll, I'll put it down here so I can use both hands, in fact. And if I bring this up, it brings the note in. I'll keep that steady and bring my left hand in. Control pitch. I can control pitch with my right hand, and I can control the modulation. Oh, 
I'm left hand. Now, I'm going to attempt to play a tune with this with the aid of uh, a ruler which I've got here, which has got some markings on it. And this is going to be placed up against this box. And I'm going to use another box here as a, a barrier, which will then introduce the notes. So if I put that there, we play that note. Let's see if you can recognize the tune. Well, very badly played. It's supposed to be Frere Jaca. With a bit of practice, uh, I can get it a bit better than that. Let's try again. So there we have it. Um, sonic Pi with uh, Ceramin, uh, with two ultrasonic sensors uh, running on uh, a nice little platform which is totally independent with its battery card with the Pi juice, and uh, it gives quite a nice effect. Um, just a little word about the code. I produce the note by running a very long note which is actually lasting for 10,000 seconds, and I'm simply adjusting its pitch by using the control mechanism in Sonic Pi. Once you've started a, a note, we get the numbers and uh, we use that to adjust the note with a, a note slide of 0 0.06 seconds. That's the time interval uh, between the samples being received. And um, when I get beyond a certain uh, distance, more than 60 away, then it actually just cuts the note out. So this isn't sounding all the time, drive you demented. You've actually got to bring your hand here to start it going like that. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I will try and uh, scribble some notes together and put them on my website. Uh, but till then, you'll have to make do with the video. Thank you for watching. Now attempt to stop it. <laughs>